Details now at six, two days after a pride parade in Wilton Manors turned tragic. A man accidentally drove into the crowd, killing one man and injuring another. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live from the scene with the latest, and Joan officials have just released the names of those involved. That's right, Lauren. Just a minutes ago, Fort Lauderdale police have now identified the man who passed away as 75 year old James Fahey of Fort Lauderdale. The victim who was hurt has been identified as Jerry Vro, both members of the gay men's chorus. We are here on Wilton Drive, and just behind me, you see where this horrible accident ended, where you see that crime scene tape, the Fort Lauderdale Garden Center. Police are still investigating, but it appears this was a horrible accident. The Pride Parade was about to start Saturday when the unthinkable happened. A driver, one of the participants in a pickup truck, accidentally hit the gas pedal, careening out of control, hitting two people, one fatally. The driver and the people he hit were all members of the gay chorus. They were walking with him, and he just had the truck there to be in the parade with them with the signs on there, the pride flag. Wilton Manor's Mayor Scott Newton was in a float ahead of the incident. He rushed to help the victims. He says while it is too soon to talk about having a parade in the future, it is on the table. There's a lot of things going on that have to be put together to make it happen, but if it's possible, I would love to see it happen. This was to be Jerry Baden's first time as a spectator for the parade. He thinks it should happen at a later date. I think it would be great to have it um, so that the celebration, can, it, I think it's a way to get it complete. Some, like T.J. Lopez, who heard the crash, think the misinformation at the beginning was over the top. But all the rumors that they started were embarrassing. I mean, a terrorist attack, come on, seriously. Fort Lauderdale's mayor, Dean Trantalis, initially called it a terrorist attack against the LGBT community. He retracted at a Sunday service. We found out that it was not. But I don't regret my feelings. I don't regret that I felt terrorized. Trantel has declined to be interviewed Monday, but Wilton Manor's mayor said he understands why it happened. In the last 25, 30 years in, in the gay community, we've had bad things happen. you got to slow down a little bit and, and process what really is going on and let the police do their job. Now, Fort Lauderdale Mayor Dean Trantalis, while I was texting with him today, he told me that the focus should be on the man who passed away, 75-year-old James Fahey. Also, we just received a statement from the Gay Men's Chorus, and the statement comes from Fred Johnson, the driver of that pickup who accidentally slammed into those people. and. Johnson writes, it was a horrible accident. I offer my sincere regret to those who were impacted. I love my chorus family in the community and would never do anything to intentionally harm anyone. The other person hurt in this accident, as we said, has been released from the hospital. In Wilton Manors tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.